Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be doing the weekly grind video as always. So this is essentially a video where we go over all the events and summons that are available on the JP and global sides of Dokkan Battle. I'll let you know when their end dates are. I go a little bit, of, I'll do a little bit of a description of the events and what's available inside of them. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. And the first one we're going to talk about is the Adventure of Gratitude. This really isn't a cool event. I mean, it's awesome because you get some kid Gokus. So like the World Tournament kid Gokus that you may have gotten from the summons you can go ahead and feed this card into them to get them to super attack 10 uh most notably the um uh, the strength one i believe there's one more that he feeds into as well and you also have some srs that are available that you can feed him into in order to get them up to super attack 10 if you would like to uh, this card is all right he's cool he's free to play uh, he does doken waking with bowman turtle medals from the world tournament uh, at Super Attack 5, when, when a Super Attack reaches level 5 or more, um, he will launch Super Attacks and he does an additional uh, percent damage buff. So he's cool for Prime Battles in the future if we ever get like an Intelligence one. Uh, right now, unless you're running a full physical team, which I don't know why you would since Technique is probably the best free-to-play team you can run, um, he will be a decent choice for you to throw onto the team. But this runs until Monday, 12-18, so you have some time to grind it out. I would recommend to do it just to get up to Super Attack 10 for collective purposes, and you never know when you'll need a low-cost, decent unit on a team. You know, usually cards that launch Super Attacks early, that don't need a full 12 key, and that have a nice, decent uh, passive, will be good for those that for types of units that you want to throw on your team that have low, low team cost. Uh, next one we're going to talk about is the Bizarre Rabbit Mob event. Uh, now, I did a full in-depth review of this a long, long time ago before I actually had a, a decent following of people. Um, I only had like maybe a 1, 200 subscribers at the time. And uh, I did a full in-depth review of the Monster Rabbit and where he came from and uh, the event and all the Dokens and stuff. So I have all the medals at some point, probably tomorrow. I will do my Dokken Awakenings of the Balmas. Uh, well, probably just this Balma because I think she's the only one I have at Super Attack 10. But you can grab the Monster Carrot. He is decent because he stuns the enemy, um, which is cool. You always want units who can stun intelligence, notably uh, uh, Notorious, for having units that can stun the enemies very well. Uh, Balma, this, uh, the actual Waifu Balma over here, she Doken Awakens. The Bunny Balma Doken Awakens. And it's funny because these two Balmas are like, they have nothing to do with each other. I guess they're both like, you know, teenage Balma. But their outfits have nothing to do with each other. This Bulma's outfit over here was from the Bizarre Rabbit Mob event um, when it was on the original Dragon Ball series. But this one is just like the manga or whatever. Yeah, it was the manga uh, cover for a certain chapter. And I think they did it in uh, one of the Dragon Ball actual animes. But regardless, you can go ahead and Doken Awaken these Balmas with the uh, Rabbit Medals. So you can go ahead and check those out if you like to, if you want to get them Doken Awaken. Honestly, it's just cool for collective purposes. Um, I don't ever see these being utilized for anything because these Balmas all are kind of whack. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion on it. It's cool for collective purposes. This event runs until the 18th, so you have some time to grind that out. And the Monster Rabbit event, oh, one thing I did want to note, in order to do extra damage to Monster Rabbit, um, you need to bring one of the Kid Gokus over here. So actually, yeah, so all the Kid Gokus that I had mentioned from the, Attitude, uh, the Gratitude Adventure, um, all of them feed into, well, these three up here. So you have the Technique Goku, the Strength Goku from Morale, and you have the Strength Goku from the Summons, and then you have the OG... Um, Kid Goku agility unit that you can feed in there, get them all to Super Attack 10 if you like to from that event. Um, good thing that was there. Uh, the Dragon Ball Super Future Trunks Saga event is here. It runs until 12-18, so you have some time to grind that out. Now, for those of you who are wondering, it's this Trunks over here. This Trunks is uh, one that will Dokken Wink into Super Saiyan Trunks, and you could feed him into his SSR counterpart, the Intelligence Trunks, or the Physical Trunks, whatever one you would like to. Obviously, the Intelligence Trunks would be the first one you would want to do since he is an Intelligence unit. Um, he is an Immense Damage Modifier. He is a staple unit for a Mono Intelligence team, uh, at least, you know, for specific amount of time uh, until he gets replaced with a better orb changer because he's really good for LR Gohan. If not for LR Gohan, then he'll, he will do. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and grind them out. This event has a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, it's just a pain in the butt to get him uh, Doken Awaken, you know? Uh, but outside of that, look, at there you go. There he is. Uh, he feeds into this t uh, this uh, actual physical trunks here, and then you all should know the uh, mono intelligence trunks I'm talking about, the hero leader, the key plus one HP attack and defense plus 70%. Um, or is it? Yeah, it's 70%. So um, the he all he this, this the medals from this event also allow the physical dunk trunks to Doken Awaken. So go ahead and grind those medals out for him as well. And the same thing with the Vegeta medals for the Technique Vegeta. Uh, both these cards are pretty cool, but you I would recommend grinding them the medals out even if you don't have the cards because at some point you might get the cards and you want to have them ready to be Doken Awakened at that time. Um, the next one we are going to talk about is well if it wants to load. Um, so essentially it's the Gogeta 
Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, Janemba, and Omega Shenron events. All of these events run until 1210. So if you guys are interested in grinding out, they're, they're available every day uh, up until the 10th of December. So you have four more days where they're available daily. So that's when you're going to want to grind them out if you're trying to actually hardcore grind them out. Um, Janemba event doesn't really have too much to say. You just get the seven medals from the new Super 2. Uh, and level 1 Z hard, you get some cool actual uh, drop rewards, which are actually pretty useful. King Yamas and Ghost Hushers are always really, really appreciated. Um, the, the actual fusion for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, that's all there is to it. You get those medals. And this physical Goku, Dokken Wake, is Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Not the best unit in the game, but he's a cool unit to have. Uh, he is a support unit for uh, physical. So go ahead and grind out the medals for him as well. Um, the Shadow Dragons of Despair event runs until 1210 as well, as well as I already said. Z Hard Stage Stage 1. You go ahead and get this Ice Shenron um, Intelligence SSR drop. Really decent unit, and he's pretty good. You're going to want to throw him onto a um, actual uh, Shadow Dragon team, uh, depending on who you, who you have to run. But Ice Shenron's a pretty cool free-to-play unit if you have him. And if he ever gets a Doken Waken, he'll be that much better. Um... Outside of that, not too much to say. Just go ahead and grind out the events. Uh, the medals are different, by the way, guys. So you cannot grind out Stage 2 in order to Doken Awaken the guy from Stage 3. So the Stage 2 medals for the Strength Omega Shenron cannot be used. Those medals cannot be used on the Physical Omega Shenron. Um, make sure you use the Link Skill GT to nullify the damage and greatly increase the attack done to him. I'm just trying to see if there's anything in this one. No, there's not. Um, yeah, no, I was just making sure that there's no other thing else. I know this one is Super Saiyan, so use Super Saiyan on the Janemba event to do extra damage to him. Um, and that's about it. So the next one jumping into the Dragon Ball GT events. There's a whole bunch of them. So the Dragon Ball GT Baby Saga finale runs until 12-11, so you have five more days for this to be available. Um, specifically, you're going to want to grind out... Um, just really the metals over here um the metals and the dragon stones you can go ahead and grind out the trunks as well the trunks and the gohan they're both really decent units uh, when they do and winking for uh prime battle so uh specifically the gohan the gohan when he do and winkins i believe he does key enhancement for the uh technique team so you can go ahead and check that out uh, let's see over here uh tech type key that's blah 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 and power up tech team yeah tech type passive skill tech type key plus three and defense plus 30 percent so he is really good for a, a tech team so um, i actually run him on my prime battle free to play tech team when i'm going up against the frieza event just because he gives everyone that extra three key and that defense so everyone tanks a little bit better so just you know keep that in mind when you're when you're thinking about grinding out this event um trunks is cool too he has a similar effect but i don't really run him too often he's definitely very viable for a um uh, Kid Boo team. Uh, let's see over here. So he does intelligence. His passive is also defense buff, but he does intelligence type key plus three. And if you know anything about the um, intelligence extreme team, they lack key links. So you need key support. Um, so that's where he comes into play. He's a very good unit to run there. And it especially helps you out if you're like uh, an old, uh, like a newer player to the game and you have a lower team cost because that team cost cap with him uh, drops a little bit because he's not a major unit. Uh, one other thing is this is where you get the medals to Doken Awaken uh, Baby or into, well, Baby Vegeta into a Super Baby 1. So that's to keep that in mind as well. Um, all these events are pretty cool. You can go ahead through this. I don't recommend grinding out the Hercule badges from this event. Really do not recommend doing that. Uh, stage 1 for the with the, the Chi Chi drop is pretty cool also. So make sure you go ahead and grind them out if you're looking for really good support items. Um, the next one is going to be Dragon Ball GT Baby Saga. This is like the part 1 of the one that I just went over. So this is where you get some cool other units. Like you have the Goten. Uh, you have the Goten over here. Uh, physical type key plus 3 which is his passive skill. Uh, pretty useful uh, for physical teams, so go ahead and grind that out. Um, you don't really need him for that, per se, but it's cool to have. You get the Vegeta. The Vegeta that goes into his baby Vegeta, uh, you need to go get him from this stage first in order for him to Doken Awaken into baby Vegeta, which will Doken Awaken into Super Baby 1, as I showed you in the previous slide or the previous page. Um, <laughs> so stage 2 is Goten, and stage... Well, the actual Goten card drop. Stage 7 is the Vegeta card drop. And that's it. You get those two from this event. Uh, all the medals, I'm just going to keep this on the screen really quick for you. You guys can go ahead to dbt.space if you want to get all that information as well. All of it is here, and it's also on the Dragon Ball Wiki. So go ahead, grab that information. Um, I'm not going to go over every single thing here. I will say, if you're looking to grind out 
um, the Hercule badges. Definitely do it on stage 10. You get the Hercule statue to drop. And he drops SR statues. You get one guaranteed per run. Uh, I've never seen him drop two. I've seen him drop double Hercule badges, which is 700. So that's cool. Um, but you could definitely increase your Zenny and get your Hercule badges from this stage if you're trying to do that. Um, I recommend at least getting the Elder Kai's and maybe the Awakening Medals because those are the two primary things you need. Training items you can grind out pretty easily. Um, you could also go ahead, I, I mean, you could just buy them from the Baba Shop if you have a whole bunch of Baba Points as well because everything's on sale. Um, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, but this is a cool event. I recommend try it uh, once you're done grabbing everything you need to in terms of cards and uh, medals and whatnot. Definitely grind out stage 10 so that way you can get a whole bunch of Zen. Uh, the next one is the Dragon Ball GT Black Star Saga. Um, Dragon Ball Saga event that runs until the 7th so that ends tomorrow night guys uh, I would recommend grinding this out if you haven't done so already I personally have to do this um, I grinded out some of it I got all the awakening medals and whatnot that I needed um, in terms of the card drops and the medals I'm already have that taken care of uh, but you get the uh, SR Goku GT um, he will Doken Awaken to Super Saiyan Goku GT, which can be fed into the other Super Saiyan Goku GTs uh, which you know you could do that if you would like to you don't need to uh, but it's cool. Uh, he definitely makes it easier. Those cards that he feeds into aren't really that great anyway, even with their Doken Awakenings, they're not that great. But he's cool for a free-to-play team, because on a free-to-play prime battle team, attack plus 7% for every keyword obtained if you're lacking some units uh, for that team, because it's not a specific to tech type, it's just any key. That's awesome. The thing is, there's no free-to-play tech orb changers, at least not a... If that I can think of, there's not any. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm missing, let me know in the comments below which ones are free-to-play. Do we have any free-to-play? And uh, not just the SR drops from banners, those don't count. Anything that could be used in prime battle, that is an orb changer. Um, anyway, General Meta Rildo um, is... A, or G General Rildo is there, and then he Doken Awakens into Hyper Meta Rildo. So all that's available here. Goku is stage 2. And the Meta Rildo or General Rildo is stage 9 and all the medals come from Doken Waking. Now if you already have all the medals and all the cards and you're just looking to grind out the apples, stage 7 is where you do it. Stage 7 on Z Hard is where you grind out all the medals. You get 400 per drop um, minimum and usually you can get yourself up to 600 per drop plus whatever you get on the board which is usually I think they drop, they drop in 20 apiece so it's, it, you can get a lot. Um, Usually they're going to drop more than just the base of 100, but you're guaranteed 100 per boss you defeat, and there's four bosses. Um, so bring an AOE team if you can. I, I personally bring like an LR Androids lead, and then try to find a friend LR Androids, LR Goku, Super Gogeta, uh, Mass Saiyan Barlock, anyone who has an, everyone and gives everyone key. That's who I try to bring for this, and then I just throw all my AOEs on one team I just taken on, so that way whoever goes up first, they just knock everyone out as fast as they can. <laughs> um, next one, we're going to jump into the summons girl. Uh, fighters exclusive summon girl power summons uh, just as hyped as it was the last time no one really wants these units um, honestly I think I think so Bulma's the healer um, Videl's really good because she just stuns everybody she's a she's a stunner that's all there is to it um, I don't I think my and Android 18 are were like decent and pan wasn't that great i don't know i'm not going to do a full card review here but I don't recommend something on it. definitely don't summon on it unless they like for some reason they gave us higher rates of lr cards which i don't know why they would do that would probably be the only thing that people would want to summon on unless you want a waifu card uh, but there is one featured ssr character uh, available so if that's your thing go ahead and summon on it i mean you're probably going to end up getting them regardless in the future but they're no one that you're primarily going to run um the only one who i could see is maybe videl because she is a major stunner um outside of that yeah uh, next one is the dual doken festival is now on let me actually go ahead i'm just going to start closing out of some tabs here to make some uh <laughs> yeah, my uh, computer run a little bit better. Sorry about that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and the next one is the dual Doken Fest the banner uh, banners. You have the Gogeta banner and the Janema banner, as you're all aware. I'm not gonna do a full in-depth review of it because this has been the hype, and I did like 20 videos talking about all the different stuff that's going on with this. So Janema banner is great. Everyone loves it. It's giving you some good stuff. I would love another Korra only banner card. I didn't pull. Uh, Gogeta banner stinks. I have I don't have the top three units that are CC right here. I pulled everything that I don't that I already have. So garbage banner <laughs> um, that's just my opinion on it I, I know some people have had some luck on it but uh, there's just an overwhelming amount of people who just haven't had any luck um we also have the agility exclusive banner so you can go ahead and uh, grind that out or grind on that summon on that if you'd like to if you're looking for the mono agility teams super 17 super saiyan 4 or vegeta these are the two new support units that you get two elder kinds per summon and the banner has some decent units i didn't do a full banner review but the banner does have some decent units on it so if you don't have any of the banner units you might want to consider pulling on it because it's, it's actually pretty cool they actually have some decent units plus majin vegeta is available in this so um, keep that in mind that runs until 12 11 
Um, by the way, I, I apologize for not telling you. So the Dokkan Festival ends on the 10th, so four more days. Uh, the, and the, the, the fusion, yeah, all that ends on the 10th. So uh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> the Dragon Ball, um, the event that I talked about, the one that ends tomorrow, just again, make sure you grind that one out. Um, let's see here. Thank you, Ticket Summons. The guaranteed SSR Ticket Summons, both are available until the 24th. That just makes it available well after the event, so that way you can use those tickets if you forgot about them, if you're not a, a player that plays every single day. All right, now we're going on to the JP side. Sorry for that 15 minutes of the global side, but, um, you know, there's a lot of information over here on the global side. Luckily, the JP side actually doesn't have a lot of information on it, so we're going to just, you know, breeze right through that. All right, so the Bulma Battle Prep is here. Uh, you can go ahead and grind out that event. It gives you a whole bunch of cool items. It runs until the 9th of December. It means the World Tournament is coming up, so there's some, we're actually gonna talk about that. Let's just jump into that real, real, real quick. So shout out to the Reddit, of course. Um, we have the new, there's new LR. It's a new TN that's gonna be part of the World Tournament. So I would recommend going and grabbing, or grinding out the World Tournament on the JP side if you're looking for that. For those of you on the global side, it's probably gonna be some time before we get him. Um, I think we have a tournaments, but it's an LR TN in Xiao too. That's actually pretty cool. I really like TN, so I'm kind of happy that we got an LR TN. Um, I will do a full review of him. It looks, uh, I don't know what he does here, so I'll have to look into that. And then we have, yeah, new SSR TN Xiaotu, token to LR. Passive skill seems to be 8 to 10 key, plus 10,000 attack, 11 to 13 key, plus 10,000 defense, 14 plus key, plus 10,000 attack and defense, which is really interesting. Okay. Um, so the World Tournament GSSR banner is going to include a SSR Piccolo, so the LR Piccolo will be thrown there. Um, new Tien and Chiaotu and the Dragon Ball Summon seem to be two different cards, don't specify rarity. Um, we don't know anything that's going on yet, so we'll figure that out when that happens. <laughs> Once that come, becomes news, I'll definitely let you know. Super Saiyan 3 Bardock event runs until 1220, so go ahead and grind that out if you haven't done so already for those medals. Really cool event. You Doken Wake the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock into his Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. But he's a really good leader. He is a Super Saiyan 3 leader, and he just broke the game. He changed up everything, and everyone who has really good Super Saiyan 3 units, they're now like make up like 30% of the top hard-hitting units. The agility Bardock that we've been waiting for Doken Wake in for such a long time does Doken Wake in, and he is a very good unit. Very, very good unit. I actually did a team building guide on him, so if you want to go ahead and check that out, go ahead and check that out. Um, next is going to be the Hero of Justice event. Um, that runs until the 14th of December, so make sure you go ahead and grind that out. Nothing really to stay here. Um, you get some uh, Gohan from Stage 6, you can grind him out. Um, outside of that, just grind it for the Dragonstones. Nothing here is really that great. Um, I, I guess he's good. I believe he's good on the Broly events. Uh, and the same thing with Videl. She's good on the Broly events when you Doken Awaken her into her... Um, uh, S L S S R variant essentially, so that yeah that, that would be pretty cool. But outside of that, there's no real reason to to get them. Um, there's also some cool mission rewards if you've never ran the event before. So go ahead do that. Nothing major there. Resurrection of F event is available here till 12:14. Make sure you go ahead grind it out. The Bandai, I still say that they messed up and they did way too much of this. Every single uh, variant of Frieza from Mecha Frieza, second form Frieza, first all the three first forms, third form and final form, all of them Doken Awaken. All of them Doken Wake with different medals. Here is the chart of what is required for all the medals. So this was 25 down the board from stage 1 to stage 3. And then, uh, well, Mecha Frieza is down here. Mecha Frieza requires 10 of each medal. Uh, what's really cool about this is Mecha Frieza is fa uh, farmable. So go, me go to Mecha Frieza with the intelligence version of the event of the Frieza event for the Frieza Strike event. Grind out 9 of them. Get them all Doken Awakened from this event, from medals of this event. And he has a 100% chance without Z Awakening him in his Doken form to feed into all Golden Freezes. Recommend doing that. Um, outside of that, you have a whole bunch of new items. Well, new items. The whole bunch of items over here that are pretty cool. Um, the Dell item sucks. The Android 18 medal sucks. And the Marin and the Balma medals are both good. So Balma medals and Marin medals are definitely ones that you want to grab. And I think that's it um, for this event. Yeah, that's it for the event. Really good items. Doesn't tell you what stages though, so I don't have that information for you right now. But that runs until the 14th, so definitely grind it out for at least the Dragon Stones if you're not looking to Doken Wake in your Frieza. Uh, or get your Freezer Super Deck 10. Uh, Thursday, 12, 7 is when the Raditz event ends, so you have till tomorrow, actually tonight. It ends tonight at midnight P uh, Pacific time. So you only have about half a day left before this event ends. <laughs> uh, this event has four stages, and you can grind out Raditzes and the actual new Scouter, which is pretty cool. Uh, and actually, stage two is really cool because while you're grinding out Raditzes, you can get the training uh, grounds, which are definitely, definitely very viable. Um, outside of that, nothing really cool here. Just, I mean, if you want to grind it out, go ahead and do so. 
Super Saiyan 3 Gacha is available until the 20th. Now, I pulled on this. Now, none of you guys really have to do this. Um, it's a If you don't have Super Saiyan 3s, this is definitely an event for you because they actually have some really good uh, Super Saiyan 3 units on here. That's just my opinion. I'm a little bit biased because I like the Super Saiyan 3 units. Um, personally, the GT Vegeta is really good when he Doken Awakens. Um, so that is something to keep into consideration. Uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Great Ape Goku, the, well, the one that Doken Awakens is the Great Ape Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Very, very viable. Um, essentially, um, one, two, three, and technically the Technique Vegeta can be good. He is definitely a little bit outdated, but he's still decent because of his passive skill of that attack buff. Uh, and because he's a Technique Super Saiyan 3, if you're going up against any agility units, you can swap out him and his strength variants if you have the strength variant. But um, these are all pretty decent cards, you know, so if you don't have any of them, I recommend at least doing one summon, especially for 30 stones apiece. Um, next one, the Dokkan Fest for the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock runs until the 20th. Nothing really major here. They have three really good units. Uh, the Angel Frieza for the Revival category, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He's part of the Revival category along with the Bardock, uh, but he's also the Mono Intelligence Leader. So keep that in mind. Really good units. Uh, definitely a banner worth summoning on, in my opinion. Smaller banner, smaller amount of units that are available there. But um, it's really cool. They have some good stuff. And the, finally, the actual Dragon Ball Saga, Dragon Ball Hero summons are available until the 7th. So they end tonight at midnight uh, Pacific time. So that is the last time you're going to be able to get this for a while. We don't know when it's coming back. So if you guys don't have your, I mean, your Super Saiyan 3s, make sure you go ahead and grind them out or summon for them if you want to. I think the banner is worth it because there's a lot of good units on it. But um, yeah, it's all up to you. But anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for stopping by and watching the video. I hope this was helpful. hope this was informative. Um, I'll catch you all in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.